Hey, a couple of the people. You might be able to see by looking up my side window there. I'm just leaving work now. December 5th, 2019. Woohoo! I've spent the last, well, the first three days of the new year sick. Feeling like absolute roadkill, exploding out both ends. Not that you need the details, but nah. <coughs> Feeling like hell. Uh, um, on the 4th, or no. So, it's Saturday, anyhow. Called in sick on Thursday because I just needed another day to rest. I just, I, was, I wasn't holding anything down. Barely holding down fluids. Um... Yesterday I worked. Oh, damn heartburn. Um, I lived off of oatmeal while working, so yay me! Oh, goddamn heartburn, and I never get heartburn. Mm. Today I'm living off of uh, fries and gravy from New York Squeak, <laughs> New York Fries. <coughs> Got this stupid cough I can't get rid of either. That's what happens when I start puking, I guess. Develop the cough. Um, so yeah, New York fries and gravy from New York fries. Um, oatmeal. Um, one of those snack cups of KD. My first cup of coffee, well it's a coffee mocha because I threw a crap load of hot chocolate in it. First cup of coffee of the new year in five days, <laughs> six days. <coughs> mm. uh, between this cough and the freaking heartburn, I tell you, holy crap. Um, living off of ga purple Gatorade. Not even, can't have ginger ale because ginger gives me instant heartburn and makes me feel sick. <laughs> it's been a lovely year! So, yeah, it's uh, been interesting. The wife was sick. She starts to get a little bit better, the sun gets sick, and uh, you know, it's just one night she's just up, gets up in the middle of the night, just puking and diary up, explosive, explosive, just horrendous for basically 12 hours. Then, you know, she starts to get on the men's, and then the next night, the little man. Same thing. Hit him for almost 24 hours. Well, no, hit him, hit him hard for 12 hours. After about 24 hours, he was pretty much okay, but the next night, he had another accident. You know, took him about 36 hours to kind of, he's doing okay, not really eating much. He's at the great, great <coughs> at the great grandparents' place, because the wife and I are both working, so. He's there for two days. I know grandma will make sure that he eats whatever he can eat and drink whatever he can drink, and she'll, by the time we, him up on Sunday tomorrow. He'll be 100% on the men's. It's grandma. It's not grandma. It's great grandma. So, oh, good. God, you know, gotta love that woman. So yeah. Um, my buddy who wasn't talking to me, I sent him a Happy New Year message, and you know what? He responded, and he decided he was gonna stop torturing me. <laughs> You know, um, tricks on him. He wasn't torturing me. He's the, you know, I could do my job and uh, not, I don't have to be friends with the clients or with the staff to do my job. That's just an added bonus. So, <coughs> no, he's talking to me again, but he, his idea of friendship is being an obnoxious, annoying pain in the arse. And I don't like annoying people. Annoying people irritate me. His sole goal in life is to, to irritate me and be annoying. And I don't see where that, you know, where is that a plus? A plus? How do you derive pleasure from your, in your life from irritating people? That's how you alienate people. But, you know, whatever, he's back to his usual stuff, so. 
he was having to put up with the uh, male nurse that he doesn't like. The male nurse goes to give him his uh, 10 o'clock meds, and, uh, but he, you know, swings out at him, he makes a fist at him, you know, tries to hit him. So, you know, the male nurse calls me over, you know, he's trying to hit me. You try. Sure. Go up to him, tap him, hey, med time, 10 o'clock, okay. Takes his meds, no problem, easy peasy. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're gonna act all nice and, you know, sugar sweet to me and treat the other guy like a, you know, like he's a leper or something? It's just... <coughs> yeah, he's been diagnosed as bipolar, but I think a lot of it is just, you know, personality, not mental illness, actual personality. He prefers to be an arse. I think he derives pleasure from confusing, you know, confounding and just, you know, irritating the living crap out of people. I mean, he's in a wheelchair, you know, he's got, you know, certain physical aspects due to his, you know, diagnosis that is not comfortable and everything, you know, but uh, that doesn't mean you take out what the universe has given you on everybody else. It's not fair. It's not cool. I ran in, well, the wife and I were out shopping. Yay. Anyhow. <laughs> It wasn't too terrible. We got a bunch of stuff done, which is really cool. And I ran into somebody I hadn't worked with since uh, the company I was working with before, taking care of uh, my buddy Sheldon. He's down in Camelops. And I ran into Chris. And holy crap, I'm looking at him like, like, it's kind of some kind of three-quarter profile there. And I'm like, is it Chris? And, you know, as I'm walking past him, I hear him talk to his kids. That's Chris. And I'm like, tap the wife on the shoulder. Hey, hey, hang on a sec. This is Chris. I got to say hi. Hey dude, how's it going? He's like, Tony, how's it going? I'm like, bud, how's it going? How are you doing? You're looking pretty good. I'm looking at him like going, like, damn, like, you lost a little bit of weight. He's like, yeah, about 125 pounds. Damn. Like, he lost me. <laughs> he lost just short of my own body weight, for Christ's sakes. I mean, like, he looks good. He's, he's a heavier built gentleman. I mean, like, he's, the guy's got to be six foot, six foot two. And, you know, he's stocky. He's a solid-built guy. I mean, I'm a light build. I'm a light frame. I'm never going to have any extra weight on me, really. Well, I might get a little thick around the middle, but that's about it. But, you know, he's got, you know, thick bone structure. And, you know, he's solid. And, you know, he looks good on him. And he, 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 I'm like, damn, Chris, you look like, you look good, man. It's like, yeah. Well, since the last time I saw you, I've had my back surgery. He's had he, ever since I met the first, the second I met him first thing he says is I've got a bad back I mean he's had he had to lose weight so that they did the, sur the back surgery so I guess he lost the weight somehow and they did the back surgery took two bone chips out of his uh, vertebrae that were digging into the uh, spinal cord you know like crap like that you know like hardcore stuff and like basically six months of recovery is the gist of it it's been a month now so he's still not allowed to basically bend, stretch, twist, turn, do anything really yet. He has to stand up straight and look pretty. <laughs> and as he put it, he has a hard time looking pretty. So, but yeah, I mean, like he, you know, he's healthy. I can see he's in a lot less pain. You know, it's like the first time, and you know, after the surgery, I go to get up and. You know, yeah, he said a month after the surgery, he goes, he goes to get up out of bed and for the first time in his leg that he can remember, his legs and feet don't hurt. And he can feel the ground underneath him when he stands up. It's like, damn, that's, you know, that's cool. It's really happy for you. He's like, yeah. The only problem is, <laughs> now my legs get cold. And my feet get cold, you know? They never used to do that. I'm like, well, they probably used to do that. You just didn't feel it. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, good point. But yeah, I, I actually feel that now. It's like, it, it's weird. I don't remember. It's been, my back's been screwed up for so long. I don't remember feeling like that. It's like, all right, well, cool. You know, so talk a little bit more, you know, off we go. Um, so my daughter's stepdad passed away a couple of days ago, well, the 29th. So she found out the uh, date of the funeral today, so... Oh, oh, excuse me. She asked, you know, Dad, 
if you're not too busy today before you, you know, you got to go to work, would you mind, you know, stopping by the house and, you know, visiting for a little bit. I'm having an episode, you know, one of my, she's dealing with depression. I'm having one of my episodes and, you know, I could, you know, oh, damn, I could really use uh, some company to, you know, help me kind of cheer up and get out of it. So, I drop off the wife at home with all the bins and, I mean, we got organizational bins from H-E double hockey sticks and uh, stop at the daughter <laughs> stop at my daughter's house I'm parked so stop at my daughter's house and you know hang out with her for about 25 30 minutes uh, you know see the granddaughter you know get lots of love and cuddle from the granddaughter harass the son-in-law when uh, when he got home, you know, hung with him for about five minutes and then had to head to work, so. But today, holy crap. Anybody ever have this? I get to work and things are going so freaking slowly. I swear to God, I could count the freaking seconds. This one eight hour shift, I swear to God, and all this good and holy in the universe, it felt like a year. Oh, finally home. I'm perked in the parking lot for the CDC, not Center for Disease Control, Child Development Center. Uh, they're plowing the parking lot in the morning. And we're going to get snow all day. So, uh, yeah, I'm parking here instead. Anyhow, I'm as close to home as I'm going to get. i got to park and then walk and then get home. Later, and Happy New Year.